very important to the 10 or 12 folks or the 8 or 10 folks that are on this list. They've chosen a different path. They've chosen not to go to Morgantown High School or Simpson Elementary School or the middle school. They've chosen to be homeschooled and therefore allow them to concentrate on this sport that we all love. And so my very good friend, and she became my very good friend because of this. It's funny how we all come together, but she is a very, very good friend. And Andrea Lieb is with us. Andrea, please come out. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you about Andrea's story. Because Andrea, too, had a child that, that chose to, to compete at a high level and has had a great deal of success. But Andrea sat back and said, wait a minute, there's something wrong. There's so many opportunities for so-called homeschool, and then we see the byproduct is that the kids aren't really homeschooled. They just said they were homeschooled. And I will tell you a story that happened about five years ago. I'm one of the promoters of, of the Outdoor Nationals, and I had an Outdoor National event in my town, and we had a promotion with the school system. It just so happened that our race was gonna be Saturday after schools let out for the summer. And so our local sponsor, the bank, we gave a free ticket to everyone in the county that missed less than five days of school. And part of our association with the county school system is we took the athletes to the county school and we had a book race where the children read books the month leading up and the classroom in the county that read the most books got a pizza party and a meet and greet with some of our stars, some of our top athletes. And so the top athletes went to the elementary school and they celebrated this book reading ceremony with the children and gave them free pizza and tickets and t-shirts and autographs. And we thought, and this was me, I said, what a great opportunity for one of our athletes to sit down and read to this third grade class. And he couldn't do it. And he's someone that we all look up to. And I know I put him in a very compromising situation and I felt terrible because he couldn't read at a third grade level. Well, Andrea has made it her mission in life to change that. And so Andrea, along with the help of many of you, have developed an educational system where there's checks and balances. And that if you choose to do online or homeschooling, that there are checks and balances to ensure that you're indeed being homeschooled. So Andrew, do you, do you want to say something? Sure, I'd love to say something. I want to thank you all for having me and allowing us to have our high school graduation here every year. This is the eighth year and I'm so excited. What I can say to you is when school becomes a problem, when absences don't allow you to go back and forth to school, we have a solution for you. We have accredited programs and certified teachers who really care about the kids. And so just give us a call and we'll tell you about it. But thank you for giving us your time tonight. Thank you, Andrea. So I can tell you as a parent of three, and if you're in this room and you're an adult, and you're over the age of 28, more than likely you're a parent. And if you've chosen to chase this dream, or whatever the reason that your child may be homeschooled, I challenge you to contact Andrea and find out what this is all about. I sat through an interview when she was accredited, and, and uh, there were very difficult questions to be asked. And I can tell you that I wouldn't endorse it if I didn't feel uh, that, that she's doing a good job, and I think she's doing a great job. So, without further ado, I want to introduce to you the scholarship winners. And a scholarship was put up, and there was a substantial amount of money. Where does the money go? Well, it's, it's not a computer teaching your children. They're actual people teaching your children through Skype or, or whatever digital technologies there are. So, we're very fortunate this year because the Mid-Atlantic Fallen Riders Foundation decided that, that they were gonna to send a bunch of money uh, towards this program. 
And so we have three scholarships and we have a tie for third place. And, and when we call your name, please come up. Uh, receiving, sharing $800. Sharing $800 is Shelby and Katie Benson. So come on up. Now, the students had to write an essay on why they felt they were deserving of this scholarship and tell their story just a bit. And so this just wasn't a draw of the hat. Our runner-up tonight will get $1,000, and that is Jose Maldonado. Jose Maldonado. Come on up, Jose. And receiving 2,500 educational dollars on behalf of the Mid-Atlantic Fallen Riders Foundation is Jake Panhankos. Wow. Come on up, Jake. $4,300 from the Mid-Atlantic Fallen Riders Foundation. So, Jake, come on up. We've got some money for you. Congratulations, Jake. You want to say something? Uh, thanks. There you go. He's got a scholarship. You're welcome. Say you're welcome. Thank you, Jake. Okay, well, now... We can have our music. We will now introduce to you the class of 2014 for On Track uh, Schools. This is the graduating class. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would. Keenan Makama. Come on up. Aaron Robertson. Angelo Chamoda, Austin Flock, Gordon Keller, Jordan Osby, Keaton Henson. Matthew Burkeen and Tucker Cantrell. Perhaps the most gratifying part of the week is seeing those young men graduate from high school.